Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. In this episode, we take a transformative journey back to medieval France, illuminating the tale of an enigmatic figure, a young peasant girl who would rise to an esteemed position of leadership, sway the course of a king's path, and ultimately embody an emblem of national identity. This is the extraordinary story of Joan of Arc. Joan was born in 1412 in Domremy, a village tucked within the verdant landscape of northeastern France. As a child of the Hundred Years' War, a prolonged, bitter conflict between England and France, Joan's childhood was marked by a backdrop of relentless warfare and political turmoil. Despite this, her upbringing was quite typical for a girl of her status at the time. She hailed from a religiously devout family, engaging in household chores, prayer, and charitable deeds, earning a reputation for her piety and compassionate assistance to the less fortunate. However, the trajectory of Joan's life took an astonishing turn when she was merely 13. It was at this tender age that Joan reported her first mystical experiences. She claimed to hear the voices of saints, among them St. Michael, the Archangel, and St. Catherine and St. Margaret, two early Christian martyrs. According to Joan, these divine messages bore a mandate of utmost importance. She was chosen to expel the English from French soil and ensure that the Dauphin, the future King Charles VII, was crowned in the traditional French coronation city of Reims. Imagine the sheer enormity of such a charge for a young teenage girl, unschooled and of humble origins. Yet Joan's story pulls us in because she was not just an unlikely hero. She was the quintessential underdog in a time defined by patriarchal dominance, her mission transcending what was conceivable for someone of her age and gender. The first significant challenge Joan faced was to convince others of her divine mission. Robert de Baudricourt, the local lord in Vaucouleurs, eventually agreed to provide an armed escort to accompany Joan to the royal court at Chinon, a journey fraught with danger as it involved traversing enemy-held territory. After eleven grueling days, Joan, remarkably, arrived unscathed and was granted an audience with the Dauphin. The meeting between Joan and Charles VII is steeped in legend. It is said that Joan was able to identify the disguised Dauphin amidst his courtiers without ever having seen him, a testament to her divine guidance. Initially, Joan was met with skepticism, but her unwavering conviction, coupled with a private prophecy known only to Charles himself, led him to eventually furnish Joan with a suit of armor, a horse, and a small troop. Armed with her newfound resources, Joan spearheaded the assault on the English siege at Orleans. The military campaign that ensued was nothing short of a revelation. A mere nine days after Joan's arrival, the English were expelled from Orleans, a stunning triumph that effectively turned the tide of the Hundred Years' War. It is essential to truly visualize this scenario, a 17-year-old girl, garbed in white armor, leading an army to an improbable victory against a superior force. This event set off a chain reaction, leading to a series of French victories that ended with the Dauphin's coronation at Reims Cathedral in July 1429, as Joan's visions had foretold. Joan's role was not confined to that of a military tactician. She also emerged as a beacon of hope, courage, and unity. Her audacious victories imbued the demoralized French forces with renewed vigor and fostered a resurgence of national identity that had been fragmented by decades of English domination. Joan carried out her duties with an air of humility and an unshakable devotion to her faith, further adding to her burgeoning reputation as a national heroine. However, Joan's tale takes a somber turn. In 1430, during another military campaign, she fell into the hands of the Burgundians, a French faction allied with the English. Joan was subsequently sold to her enemies and put on trial for a multitude of charges. These included accusations of heresy and cross-dressing as she often donned men's military attire for practical reasons. The trial was not an exercise in justice, but a politically motivated endeavor aimed at discrediting the French monarchy, whom Joan had greatly aided. 
Despite the harsh circumstances, Jones' responses during her trial demonstrated a remarkable level of wit, intelligence, and unwavering faith. Regrettably, she was declared guilty and met a tragic end, burned at the stake in Rouen on May 30, 1431, at the tender age of 19. Yet, Joan's tale does not conclude with her death. In fact, her story expanded, and her reputation soared posthumously. The proceedings of her trial were re-examined 25 years after her execution, and she was exonerated of all charges in 1456. Fast forward to 1803, and Napoleon Bonaparte declared her a national symbol of France, solidifying her position in the annals of French history. Then, in 1920, nearly five centuries after her death, Joan of Arc was canonized by the Catholic Church, thus confirming her status as Saint Joan of Arc. From a humble peasant girl to a national symbol and a canonized saint, Joan's journey is a testament to the human spirit's indomitable strength. Her legacy is an enduring tale of courage, faith, and the extraordinary potential that lies within each of us. In many ways, Joan of Arc's narrative serves as a mirror, reflecting our own potential for greatness. Joan's story is not only about a single woman's bravery and conviction. It's about how a person's beliefs and actions can ignite a spark, transforming not only their own life but the course of a nation's history. Joan of Arc remains a beacon of inspiration to people everywhere, an emblem of the potential that lies within all of us. So here's to Joan of Arc, the unyielding teenager who heard voices, led armies, and changed the course of history. A national heroine, a saint, and above all, an inspiration. A testament to the profound truth that ordinary people, imbued with faith and courage, can accomplish extraordinary feats. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you have ideas on who we should make a video about next please let us know in the comment section below. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for